Hey y'all, welcome back to Brave Kids Art Club. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I know I am, you wanna know why? Because you guys are here drawing with me. This is like my favorite thing ever, you guys getting to draw with me. So thank you guys for showing up. Today we're gonna be drawing a really amazing animal that's huge. It's the biggest animal that lives on land. Do you know what animal that is? They live in Africa and Asia. People say they have a really good memory. They have trunks. Okay, that's enough hands. Of course, it's the elephant. We are drawing an elephant today, and I couldn't be happier because my wife absolutely loves elephants, and uh, I know she's gonna be really happy, and hopefully you are too, because this is gonna be a whole lot of fun. Are you guys ready to draw? Awesome, okay, let's get started. Of course, you need a nice, clean sheet of paper, and I'm actually gonna have my paper oriented horizontally, or landscape, because we're gonna be fitting our elephant, like a side view of our elephant and we're gonna need that space. And then we are going to make sure that we have a pencil, of course, why? Because we need to sketch. Yep, we're gonna sketch out where everything goes before we put down our final lines, which we'll do with a marker or a dark pen. And then we will finally do my favorite part, which is bringing out all of our colors and coloring them in. So I'm using markers, you can use color pencils, paints, whatever you'd like to use. Um, it's just gonna be a whole lot of fun. So let's jump right into our sketching. Okay, so let's start with an oval and we're gonna do it kind of in the top left corner here. I don't wanna do it dead center because it's gonna still have to put the head on. We're just drawing the body, the shape for the body. So I'm gonna kind of move it back here a little and kind of do an oval like this. And it's okay if it doesn't look like a great oval. You can go over it as many times as you need. I usually need to do that myself. So that way we're leaving enough room for the legs here, the tail it doesn't take up a ton of room, and then the big head and the trunk. We can do a circle for the head. I might do a little square for the head because I'm gonna build the trunk off of this square. And the head's gonna be a little bit taller than the body. So I'm gonna do a little square right over here. Let's see, I'm gonna kinda have it go about halfway. I kinda wanna do a bigger bigger head here. So kind of draw a square. I can overlap for right now. It might need to go up a little bigger, a little wider. Okay, that looks pretty good. Maybe I can go a little bit lower, but we can fix that as we go. Now let's go ahead and draw that ear. So I'm actually going to bring that ear right off this corner, the top left corner of our square, and just bring it right down here. Big, big curve. Big curve. There we go. And uh, actually, I'm gonna erase a little bit. It's not gonna go all the way down to the bottom. I'm gonna make sure I cut this a little bit short because I wanna bring this at a kind of an angle over here. And what I want is this to kind of come down and then I'm gonna do a really loose line to have it come back to right where kind of this oval is meeting our square. Then I can take a line and kind of connect those two. So now what we can do is draw some more like a wavy pattern for the bottom of the ear. There we are. So that's gonna be the bottom. Now it's kind of a mess right now, so what we might want to do is start to erase. I'm gonna leave only this line, right here, this diagonal line, and then I'm gonna start getting rid of some of these other lines in here, just so we don't get confused. You see that? So I wanna leave that bit right there. That's gonna be the ear. It's kind of slanted, but right here, I'm gonna to go to the edge of this face and kind of do a rounded off edge. I don't really wanna leave that this part as a block. So I'm gonna round off this corner and then we're gonna go straight down like this and then do another little line, but we're gonna angle it here from the bottom. We're gonna angle it a little bit in and keep going down, 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 down. So it's a little bit of a slant. Then we're gonna bring this down and we're gonna curve it up. These trunks actually have over 40,000 muscles in them. That's incredible because our human body only has around 650. So they have 40,000 just in their trunk. Imagine all the things that that trunk can do and how cool that trunk is. So if you wanna make a really cool shape with it, or you want it to be itching its back or picking something up, this is a perfect time to sketch that in and uh, make it do something really cool. So I'm just gonna have mine kind of sticking up here, kind of like a backwards J. 
And then I'm going to go up. Oh, man, that looks kind of weird because it should get smaller as it gets to the end, maybe. <laughs> so I'm going to fix that. I'm going to fix that up right there. There we go. That's looking a lot better. Perfect. So we have the head, the ear, the trunk, the body. Then we want to do maybe from this point right here that we have, I'm going to go do like kind of an angled line this way. Not too angled, but just a little bit and bring that back. And that's going to be the front leg. Let's see. And then let's do maybe the back leg. We can kind of bring that in. Now, again, this doesn't have to be the exact shape of that body, but I'm going to kind of do a straight line again back here. And then I'm going to go line down. And that's going to be that back leg. So I'm going to do this little thigh right here coming down. So it's like a backward C. And you can kind of get that thigh shape. Oh, there we go. That's a little bit better. There we are. And then I'm going to go another straight line down for the bottom of the foot. Like that. And then I'm going to do another line right here and have it go back a little bit like he's maybe walking and <laughs> stepping forward. I'm going to angle it a little bit and then go forward. So we got the two back legs and then we got the front leg. Let's do the bottom of it right there. If we go up right over here. Yeah, kind of, that was kind of a crazy line. We'll go up. Maybe around here, and then we're going to give it again that kind of that shoulder area. Oh, I'll kind of bring that down, yeah. And we'll go down right there. Maybe that actually goes down further. Maybe that would make more sense. Yeah, let's do that. Let's make that go down a little bit further and connect there with the leg. Okay, and then we'll do, we've got the belly right here, and then we'll draw one more. Back here again, slanted a little bit like this back one. And not completely flat, I'm kind of tilting it forward so it looks like it's, it may be walking. There we go, it looks like it's kind of walking forward. Okay, so we got the legs, the head. And then now we can do the tusks. The tusks are a really cool part of the elephant. They're made of ivory and with African elephants, they actually, boys and girls, male and female, both have tusks, which is pretty cool because with Asian elephants, only male elephants or boy elephants have tusks. I thought that's pretty interesting. So we're drawing an African elephant, so this could be a girl or a boy. And their tusks, they keep growing. They never stop growing. So if they get older, you can kind of tell how old an elephant is by how long the tusks are. If you see a really long tusk on an elephant, you're like, that's an old elephant. Okay, so we'll do the little tusk right there coming out. And then there, maybe we'll give them a little, a little mouth right here. Maybe a rounded off chin. You could do that. Could totally do a little round off chin. We're gonna make a little mouth under there, underneath the trunk. I'm gonna make that trunk a little thicker. Maybe I'll do that with my outline. And then let's give him or her, I'm not really sure. I haven't really named my elephant yet. I'm gonna give them a big eyeball. Elephants are fascinating because they have they, you know, they they kind of move around in families and They've actually been known to cry when another one's died and they actually sit there and they're really upset when one of the other elephants dies. They like live in really close families. All right, what are we missing here? Maybe we're missing a uh, tail. Yeah, we are missing the tail here. So let's give them a little tail. There we go. Well, I am going to name this elephant Hmm, I think it's going to be a girl. I think I'm going to name her Ella. I really like the name Ella. So we have Ella the elephant here. <laughs> you can give her, maybe I'm going to make her tail a little more playful. Actually, I want to make her tail a little bit more playful. So let's give it a slight curve. If I make it stiff, it's not as playful. It's kind of how they, how you make things look a little more fun and whimsical as you kind of make them move a little bit. So we'll have her tail whip back just a little bit. 
Should we draw her little toenails on there? Let's try those. I guess they're not little, they're big toenails. But we're gonna draw three little toenails on there. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Doop, 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 and doop, doop, doop. Awesome. Do I need to do anything else with my sketching? I really like how she fits on the page. I think it looks pretty good. Now remember, this is the point now, if you are comfortable with your sketch, go right on into your pen work, your outlines. Uh, if not, if you're like, oh, it's not quite there, maybe there's something you wanna erase and kinda work on, or you wanna add something to your scene, that's totally cool. This is a great time to do that before we do this. Okay, let's get started. Let's start with the big shapes. We like to start with the big shapes. It makes your lives a little easier. I'm gonna start with this big oval for the body. I'm gonna go over here, oops. And there we go, I'm gonna stop right there where the ear is. And then I'm gonna do this big curve here for the ear. And then let's draw, maybe I wanna, cause I want these to connect. Maybe I should draw the points where everything connects first. I think that'll help me out a little bit. So I'm gonna draw this line all the way down here. Now let's draw this ear and make it connect. Remember, we're gonna kinda do like a wavy ear. These are the big ears because they're the African elephant ears. They got the big ears. The Asian elephants have a little bit smaller ears and that's how you can kinda tell the difference between them. All right, we're gonna do a line straight down here and connect those two. And then right in the middle of these, like the, the peaks of these little waves, the little humps of these waves, I'm going to add some little lines right here just so it looks like it's kinda folded over. Let's draw the top of the head and have it go down. So we're gonna draw that line kind of matches up. And then the head's gonna curve down right here. Remember, you gotta stop because we're gonna put the tusk in front of it. So we need to stop and we gotta do that tusk first. Let's do that tusk right here. I have it curve up. Have the other side of the tusk go up and meet. All right, so from that point, on this little point right here, we're gonna draw the trunk of our elephant. And I kinda wanna make it a little bit thicker than what I have, so I'm gonna kinda go out a little bit from what I've already done. There we go. Now I'm gonna meet up where I was already, right here, and go down. Remember, the trunk gets smaller as it gets closer to the tip of the trunk, right there. But at the very end of it, they have like, well, they have, they have like little fingers because they can pinch. So at least African elephants can. They have two. Uh, Asian elephants, they do a little different. They wrap it around, kind of like a boa constrictor. They'll kind of wrap around to pick up things. But you'll, you can notice when like African elephants pick up things, they can pick it up like just like kind of a hand can. Like, a, like if you had a mitten on, you can pick up things. It's pretty, pretty cool. So not only is it a nose, but your nose can pick up things. And the whole trunk itself can lift up to like over 700 pounds. That's huge. Okay, then we're going to do that little smiley face. How are we gonna do this little smiley face? Maybe we'll kind of go like this and kind of do a little curve right there. There we go, so it's kind of got a little, little mouth. Her mouth sticking out a little bit. And then we'll kind of go up. I'm gonna kind of meet it up to this. That'll probably be a good idea. So I'm gonna have it go like this with a little curve and meet up right there near the ear. I like how that looks. Maybe we'll draw that eye now. Circles are kind of hard. So I get a little quiet when I'm drawing circles. Then we're gonna have that pupil. We're gonna add that in. We're gonna do kind of a larger pupil if we wanted to make it look friendlier. And Ella is friendly. She is a friendly elephant. Now let's add the rest of this over here. The back leg. The front leg. And we'll add the bottom. We'll add those, those fingernails or toenails last. Now, instead of keep going around, I'm just gonna go straight down to this point because that's the one I drew like that. Maybe I wanna make this back leg a little thicker, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna kind of draw on the outside of my sketch. Then grab this big hip. 
and bring it down and then go down again go across yeah we got two more left so it's going to meet up in the back just outline everything we drew oh and before i do this i'm actually going to make the bottom of the stomach now because this leg is in the back while well, these legs are in the front so i'm going to move and make sure that i put that in first okay there we are now we just got to add these little toenails really fast i mean you can take your time i'm just trying to do it fast for the video <laughs> And then let's do the tail. I think that's the last thing we have. Our little happy little tail wagging around. There we go. And I kind of put like that. And now I kind of want to add in a few more little details that are just up to me and uh, you can do the same. I'm going to add maybe some little lines on the trunk. If you want to do that, feel free because the trunk looks like it's segmented or cut into different little pieces. Um, and so that's kind of what I want to show here. Maybe you did a line all the way across and each little ring on the, tr on the trunk was a different color. That would be kind of cool. I'd love to see that. Then we're going to kind of go down. And then I'm going to add maybe some little, little lines here for the knees. Just cute little knees. Okay. Oh, maybe some hair. They do have little, uh, notice they have a little hairy, like little bristly hairs on the top of their head. I've actually touched an elephant before and it feels really cool. They got little hair. You wouldn't think it, but there's a little bit of hair on the top. So I'm just going to kind of do some fun little, fun little hair on the top of, of her head. There we are. Now that we've outlined it, we've got all these little pencil marks that we want to get rid of. So go ahead and start erasing all of that off of here. And once I'm done erasing, I'm going to start my coloring. And then once I get color, I'm going to do that by myself. You can go ahead and color this however you'd like. And then at the very end, after I'm done, we'll meet up and we'll uh, see what we did. How's that sound? Perfect. Okay. touch here is this tusk and I'm done well how'd your elephants turn out oh good well I hope you had a lot of fun and you're proud of what you made sometimes that's kind of hard sometimes we feel like whatever we made isn't perfect and that's totally fine or it looks different than other people's elephants maybe your elephant looks very very different is that okay of course it's okay it's your elephant you drew it and so you got to be excited about what you drew and what you made and you never have to be embarrassed by what you made so because we're proud of what we made, what do we have to do? That's right, we gotta sign our work. So I'm gonna put my initials down here and we're finished. Well, thank you guys so much for drawing with me. This is always the highlight of my day. And remember, we do these drawing videos Monday through Friday every single week. So please subscribe and if you liked this video, give it a like. And remember to always be brave, be creative, and most importantly, be you. Alrighty, we'll see you next time.